Shimon Prokopez is here. He's got our breaking news, new evidence released by House Democrats tonight. Shimon, welcome. Thank you so much. Boy, Kenneth Starr, <laughs> Monica Lewinsky, Bill Clinton, and Donald Trump. We've heard from a lot of folks. It's the 90s all over again. But we got some new documents here from Parnas. It shows text messages that appear to be more evidence of um, that Ambassador Yovanovitch was surveilled while in Ukraine. What do you learn? It's certainly troubling. And just to remind uh, you know, viewers and people of, of what was going on here, there's, uh, there was a plot here to remove her, to get her out <clears throat> of the Ukraine. Uh, and certainly with tonight's latest revelations, uh, it looks like this was much more involved uh, than we all probably thought at first. It, this introduction of this new person, this congressional candidate, Robert Hyde out of Connecticut, introduces a whole new element that we have not seen or heard from before. And now that we had the Parnas text from him and Parnas where they were talking about conducting surveillance of, of the U Ukrainian ambassador. But now we have an additional piece of information where uh, Mr. Hyde is talking to someone on a Belgium number and they're talking about where is she? Is she in the embassy? Uh, all sorts of back and forth. No one in the federal government certainly is discounting this. No one has come out. I've talked to people today. All are taking this pretty serious. The FBI is investigating this. FBI agents have been to his home. The Southern Dr District of New York is investigating this plot. What was going on behind the scenes? Back channel efforts to try and get the Ukrainian ambassador out of the country. That is all under investigation. And this just raises more questions, certainly very troubling that you had an ambassador, a, a U.S. official, uh, people were talking about conducting surveillance on her, people wanting her out of the country. Why? And that is all part of what this investigation by the Southern District of, the Southern District of New York is trying to do. I mean, we don't know what was going on, but it sounds on the surface very sinister and scary. Very but sinister. I've got to ask you about these new documents that also show these, these communications. Because he denied, and I'm talking about Devin right. Nunes, these communications between Parnas and an aide to, to Congressman, Republican Congressman uh, Devin Nunes, how much contact was the congressman, congressman's office having with Parnas? It seems like a lot when you look at the information that came out today. Uh, you're talking about text messages of, in, uh, from a senior aide to Devin Nunes talking to Parnas about arranging interviews with Ukrainians, information. There, there's a March 2019 uh, exchange where they talk about materials. Can we get materials? This is the aide to Devin Nunes asking Parnas for materials on dirt that they're supposedly digging up on the Bidens. And there's this whole back and forth. And then there's this whole thing. There's meetings at the Trump Hotel in Washington, D.C., where this aide to Devin Nunes is present. Rudy Giuliani is there. So we're seeing more and more signs that at least Devin Nunes, his office, was in the mix on this, was heavily involved is in Nunes all Is Nunes admitting to now having communications? He is admitting just on Wednesday after initially denying that he had any communications with Parnas, says, yeah, I do remember now there was this, there was some communication with Parnas. There's also photographs in these documents that show Parnas closely tied to Rudy Giuliani uh, and pictures of, uh, of an event that he and the president apparently attended. They attended, there are name tags, right? More evidence perhaps that these guys actually did know each other despite the president claiming that he didn't know him. There on your screen, you see there's a name tag right left Parnas and right to the left of that is Donald Trump's name. Now we don't know if they actually sat next to each up. other. Or if he showed but, up. Or if he showed up. But here's the fact is, we keep seeing photos of the president's family, people close to the president, people close, senior people in Thank the you Republican notes, Party. Rudy Giuliani Thank you, know, all Parnas sorts of and, yeah. photos. He's inside this circle. Yeah. So how can the president say that he doesn't know who he is when there are all these photos, when he's at all these events with the president? Again, this is why this is all being released, right? They're trying to show that the idea that somehow the president didn't know who this guy was very hard to believe because so many people inside the president's inner circle certainly knew. Who well, the president, he says he didn't know him. The, the folks in the president's inner circle and Rudy Giuliani certainly, Rudy certainly Giuliani. knew who he was and had close relations with him. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. appreciate that. We're back now with our breaking news. House Democrats releasing more documents tonight from indicted Rudy Giuliani, Associate Lev Parnas, including texts that appear to show possible surveillance of Marie Ivanovich, the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, 
who was fired by President Trump. I want to bring in now Shimon Prokofiev, and CNN crime, he's a CNN crime and justice reporter. And we're joined by Harry Littman, a former deputy assistant attorney general. Uh, Shimon, welcome back. Harry, uh, welcome to the program. You know, Shimon, we see these text messages that appear to show uh, more efforts to track Marie Yovanovitch. Um, she's been there since Thursday, never left the embassy. That is from an unknown Belgian number in a text exchange uh, with Trump ally Robert Hyde. So now there are even more questions like, who is this on the other end of this Belgian number? Yeah, and that's going to be a big question. We don't know who that is, but certainly the FBI does. The uh, folks over at the diplomatic security at the State Department will know who this is. And now probably members of Congress who ha have been sitting on this information after they received it uh, from Lev Parnas and his attorney, they know who this person is. But most importantly, who really needs to know are... are the security folks at the State Department and the FBI, because they need to unravel exactly what was going on here. And was there actually a, a plot here to keep her under surveillance, to keep an eye on her, to see what she was doing? Because ultimately, they wanted her out of there. And was this part of that? Harry, I know that you have very strong views on Congressman Devin Nunes. What do you think about these documents that show his aide appearing to have a role digging up dirt on Trump rivals? Yeah, I mean, in some ways, it doesn't seem a surprise. He's been kind of a scoundrel in and, and these, and these ways from the start. But think about this. This is the official <clears throat> foreign policy of the United States of America vis-a-vis -vis Ukraine. And it's basically being run by these you know, overgrown frat boys of whom, you know, Nunes fits in perfectly. And they have a goal of ousting a U.S. ambassador. To Shimon's point, it's stunning that nothing has been undertaken as far as a criminal investigation. Yet the State Department has had, and, and, and the Bureau would have had this months ago, that this kind of uh, surveillance of a U.S. ambassador is you know, tantamount to a kind of declaration of war on U.S. normal foreign policy. There's, a, there's another story here about why have they slept on it for these months. Mm. Shimon, talk to me about some of these photographs, okay, that, that were released. Parnas with Giuliani, then you have Parnas with Trump, um, even a photo of Parnas sitting next to Donald Trump Jr. What's going on? Yeah, these are events. Uh, presumably, these are uh, campaign events, money, fundraising events. Meetings that he, they're having with Rudy Giuliani. We've seen video. We've seen photos of them uh, spending time together at the Trump Hotel. All of this was going on at the Trump Hotel. Think about this. Mm. This is the hotel yeah. in Washington, D.C. They're having all these meetings there. We've seen Jay Sekulow there sitting with Parnas. We've seen other members of the Trump team and family and friends and inner circle hanging out, all of them together at the Trump Hotel. And we're seeing more evidence of that. They yeah. just keep releasing more and more. Well, my question is, he says, you know, he says they keep releasing. What happens, Harry, if more of this comes out during this trial? Well, in general, in trials in the past, when things come out, that's what I was talking about. The FBI is on it. The DOJ is on it. It puts heat on the witnesses. As best we can tell, there's been no impact wow. to, the, to what obviously are sorts of conduct that should be open in criminal investigations. I tell you what should happen here certainly is there should be a criminal investigation of the efforts to harass Ambassador Yovanovitch, without a doubt. 